Well, greetings, everybody. Patty here. Um, I'm going to be doing a small series um, about uh, our Hollywood celebrities and their roles in our lives. And in this video, I want to talk about Madonna and her recent performance and her recent speech at the Women's March. But before, before I play the video, I just want to read the title here. Madonna Songs Banned from Texas Radio Station as a matter of patriotism after Woman's March speech. Don't let this person fool you anymore. Um, it's, uh, I was an 80s, I am an 80s music person, and I've seen a lot of 80s performers change. Uh, Michael Michael Jackson's death, the death of Prince, um, the, the basically the eighties is my music. Madonna was my icon. She was my favorite performer. I loved every performance, every song she ever made. But after her speech, and knowing what I know about her. And the fact that she does, in fact, worship Satan, that's proven. I could never listen to any song she ever sings ever again. Okay, now when I, when I play the speech, you're going to see her cap. She's wearing a cap with devil horns. All right. Now, pay attention to that when I play the video. Thanks. Hold on. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard this this speech. And if it doesn't bother you, then there's something wrong with you. All right. I'll play the clip here in just a moment. Madonna, one of the biggest pop culture prostitutes on our planet and singing servants of Satan, just threatened to bomb the White House today. Did you hear that? What he has said so far is true. She served Satan, and she just threatened to blow up the White House. Now, if you and I were to do that? Wow. We would be shot and killed on sight. At the Warthog March on Washington. Wait, what? They're saying it was a women's march? Looks more like a bunch of liberal skanks who like to have one night stands and murder the most children. <laughs> anyway, here's the clip of this Hollywood whore threatening to bomb the White House and is then cheered by her fellow warthogs. I'm angry. You're ugly? We agree. Yes, I am outraged. Yes, you're worn out? Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. What? The White House. Terror. About blowing up the White House. About blowing up the White House. A lot about blowing up the White House. About blowing up the White House. House. White House. About blowing up the White House. Okay. Terrorist. This less than 24 hours after gangs of masked thugs hit the streets of Washington, D.C., attacking Donald Trump supporters, smashing businesses, burning cars, and rioting in our nation's capital over the new president. We cannot fall into despair. As the poet W.H. Auden once wrote on the eve of World War II. Okay, shut up. Here's CNN celebrating. <laughs> he said it. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Thanks, terrorist threats, and allowing her to drop. Now, 
Look at the horns on her cap. Anybody else have horns? No, no. Mark Dice isn't wearing a horn. No. She's wearing a devil horned hat. Live on the air. I will bleep those out, of course, since this is a family channel. But take a look at this. And, and Madonna, I've been told Madonna. So yeah, speaking is now of Madonna, Suzanne, I'm just going to cut you off. Forgive me, but we got to go to Madonna. Can you oh. hear me? Yay, Madonna. Yay. Are you ready to shake up the world? Are you ready to get an MVP? <laughs> Welcome to the revolution <laughs> of love. Uh, uh, love. You threatened to bomb the White House, you terrorist. To the rebellion. <laughs> to our refusal as women to accept this new age of tyranny. <laughs> where not just women are in danger, but all marginalized people. Just all in danger. Where being uniquely different right now might truly be considered a crime. <laughs> it took this horrific moment of darkness <laughs> to wake us the fuck up. Things are so dark. <laughs> That's right. She's she's very dark. <laughs> it seems. It seems as though we had all slipped into a false sense of comfort. That justice would prevail, and that good would win in the end. <laughs> well, good did not win this election. <laughs> Evil. But good will win in the end. Listen to more. I was cheering her. What the hell are so you about? <laughs> is that we are far from the end. It's the end of your Day career. The beginning. Begin the beginning of our story. The beginning of you approaching menopause. <laughs> The fight for the right Two. to be free, to be who we are. What the hell are you talking about? To be equal. <laughs> Let's march together through this darkness and with each step know that we are not afraid. Of what? <sighs> that we are not alone. Yes, you are. That we will not back down. Ooh, we're afraid. You are not sane. <laughs> and to our detractors <laughs> that insist that this march will never add up to anything. It hasn't. And fuck you, too. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Stick it to him, Madonna! <laughs> Tell him to F off! <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Woo! He's so powerful. It is the Say beginning of much needed change. Okay. Change that will require sacrifice. Okay, we're going to pull out of that because <laughs> of some of the language used. It's Madonna. We didn't know what she was going to say. I've got Jim Shuto and Dana Bash sitting uh, listening to this. Uh, She's a servant of Satan. What the hell did you expect her to say, you idiot? <laughs> well, that's just a sample of the insanity of what's going on on Donald Trump's first full day as the president. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to... Uh -uh, this guy's funny. You guys got to subscribe to his channel. Mark Dice. Okay. Anyways, so there's Madonna for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't have any thoughts about that to offer right now. I just think she's a piece of crap. <laughs>